everybody. Welcome back to the beatmajors.net. Yo, I just wanted to, man, talk to you guys because <clears throat> lately, man, or just for a long time, I just had a, a serious problem with artists and producers on social media um, where, you know, basically you guys or just not, just not you specifically, but just in general, this is just a generalized video. Um, a lot of artists and producers will uh, tag, um, a producer will tag an artist, or an artist will tag random people on Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, just different pieces of social media, and basically you're you're like devaluing your um, product or your your brand. You know, um, let's speak on Facebook for a second. So all these social medias have different algorithms. They have different ways that they um, keep you higher in the ranking or they keep your posts high up. Um, and you know, sometimes if you do certain things or if certain things happen to your post, um, it'll lower you know your your presence on these these uh, these social media uh, platforms. So Facebook um, people, you have the option to tag I think up to 99 people or 100 people or something like that. Um, and what happens is you tag all these people. And every single person gets a notification every single time someone likes it, every single time someone comments, every single time someone shares it. And if the next person shares it, then you get, then everybody gets the same notification that this person shared it, that person. It just gets overwhelming. And what happens is you get some people who are like, what the fuck? Like, what, why are you doing this to me? And sometimes, you know, your post will get uh, reported. Um, and if you get reported, that pushes your post further down the line. And if you get reported too many times, they won't allow you to tag people anymore. And that's just from Facebook. You know, um, it's cool to, you know, if someone says, hey, yo, you know, when you put some music out or you put beats out, make sure you tag me so I can hear it because there's so much going on. I don't, I don't get to see um, your post, which is cool. So if they tell you, tag me, tag them, tag them up, let them know, hey, I got new beats. Oh, yo. I dropped a new song, you know, check it out. Um, but if they don't tell you that, don't do it. Because what it does is it makes you look thirsty. It makes you look as a producer like you're struggling. It makes you look like as an artist, like no one's listening, like you're forcing people to listen to you. Um, you know, especially with like Instagram and Twitter, when you tag all these people, no one really truly clicks the link to see what it is. You know, you may tag a hundred people and maybe one or two people may actually truly click the link now you may be one of those people that's like no nah, when I tag people everybody listens that's fine that's absolutely fine but my thing is why not do it organically why not take you know twenty dollars right because I know that a lot of you spend twenty dollars on your wardrobe you spend twenty dollars on you know whatever your vice is that you use in the studio you may spend that twenty dollars on those things and that money could be going to you uh, putting towards ads, Twitter ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, uh, Instagram ads. It doesn't cost much to run an ad nowadays. You can run an ad um, for $10 a day uh, or have a budget of $20 and then it'll break down to you know whatever it is per day if you run it for three days, if you run it for five days, if you run it for one day. It breaks down to where it's affordable um, and that's an organic way to pick up new fans, an organic way to pick up new listeners. So my thing is, stop tagging, start uh, advertising. You know, um, don't tag your friends, don't tag your family, tag, I mean, uh, you know, make ads or set up ads that will attract people that like what you have to offer. Um, you know, the other thing that you, you know, so that you don't have to tag people is stay consistent. Drop a song every single week. Stay in people's face. If you can do it every day, do it every day. If you can do it every other day, do it every other day. Stay in people's face. That way you don't have to tag people. Because then if you're staying consistent, you know what happens? People are like, yo, I even dropped a song every week this month. Let me go, let me go check it out. Because he didn't tag me. He didn't or she didn't tag me or you know, whatever. They've been staying consistent and I've been seeing their posts every single week. So I'm going to take this moment right now to listen to that song because you were consistent because you kept going and you kept the momentum and didn't care about who was listening. You just kept doing you. And in the midst of that, someone was like, I'm going to check this person out. 
And that's my thing. Like I said, stop tagging, start adding. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I try to come up with something, but stop tagging people. Make sure you start advertising. Um, it doesn't cost much, man. Run ads because that's a more organic way. Um, stay consistent if you don't have the money um, to run an ad. Just stay consistent. Stay dropping songs. You know what I mean? Drop something new every week. Drop drop a song every month if you can't do every week. Drop a song every other day if you can. Drop a song every three days if you can. Try different methods to keep the momentum going so that people don't um, feel like you're being thirsty. Feel like you're forcing them. You know, when you look at when you think about um, companies like Target, um, just for instance, this is just an example. Um, they don't. They don't tag you and tell you, hey, uh, we got a new shipment of TVs in, you should come buy one. No, they run an ad and they they, they, they keep track of you through what's called cookies. Um, so anytime you go to target.com, they cookied you. So now when they run an ad, you automatically, they know this person right here wants something from us. They may have bought something from us or they may not have bought anything from us. But since they came to our site, we know that they are interested in something that we have to offer. So we're gonna run ads that are uh, you know, going to um, be targeted to them. And that's a whole nother video, I'm not gonna get deep into that, but I just wanted to help you guys out and just let you guys know that tagging people, it does not work all the time. I'm gonna say about 90% of the time it does not work. That other 10%, those are for the people who you know have family or have people that are like, yeah, tag me, tag me, tag me. But if you don't have people that are interested in what you have to offer, don't tag people, man, because it just doesn't make sense. It's not going to help you. You're going to fall down in the ranking of with, with all these algorithms going on because you're doing things the wrong way. Again, don't force someone, don't force feed someone. Allow them to open their mouth to your product or your, you know, whatever it is that you're advertising, whatever it is that you have to offer, whether it's free beats, whether it's a, a new beat, whether it's a new song, whether it's a new mixtape, a new album. Don't force feed people because no one likes that. Do things organically. Like I said, consistency is key for sure. But if you can't, if you, if you, if you already got the consistent part down, but no one's listening, run ads because that's something that'll run in your sleep. That's something that'll keep going in your sleep. That's something that'll stay in people's timeline, stay in people's face while you're sleeping, and they're still up going down their timeline. So again, stop tagging people, start advertising, and you know, just do things organically because that's the best way. No one wants to be force fed ever. I'm pretty sure you don't want someone trying to feed you some food or feed you something or try to force you to drink something. No, you don't want that. So why do that to people? So again, just to sum it all up, like I said, stop tagging, start advertising, um, start staying consistent, doing things that are, you know, gonna get these people to listen to you just, just off the strength of, okay, this person has been posting every single week. I, I, I see them, they're staying consistent, they're in my face every day or every week or every other day. Let me check it out. Let me give it a chance at least once. So if the product is good, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna buy or they're gonna stay listening. If the product is bad, eh, you might not have a chance. But if you're staying consistent, it doesn't even matter. Because look at a lot of these artists that are out here. No disrespect to any of the artists, I wanna make that clear. I'm just saying. When things aren't good, but your marketing is great, it works out for you in the end. So, again, I, I know this was kind of all over the place. I hope I, you know, gave you guys good insight on tagging and things like that. Um, so, hope you got some value out of this, man. I hope that you can use this in your music production, and I hope that you understand now to do things organically. Run, like I said, run ads, however you got to do it. Um, and but don't force feed people so until next time guys I appreciate you watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up um, if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe hit that bell become a part of the notification gang and until then or until next time <laughs> I'll holla at y'all peace